Julia, Julia Ebner. I, I totally agree. It's, Julia Ebner, are we having, say, are we having yes. the wrong conversation? Well, first of all, I would also like to make the distinction between pietist Salafism and jihadi Salafism. I think jihadist Salafism is just one manifestation of Salafism. The link is ideological. I agree with you on that. But um, I think there is, uh, it's really important to keep uh, a very nuanced um, language also in this debate because that's exactly also the problem that we face with, uh, f with the far right mixing up Islam with Islamist extremism. And the same is true for mixing up uh, pietist uh, Salafism with jihadi Salafism. I think it's important to, to uh, have a very nuanced debate on this. And also, I think, um, of course, there are various, it's such a complex uh, topic and this whole radicalization cocktail is for us at the Quillian Foundation we see it almost um, yeah it consists of four factors basically you have grievances that feed into it you have uh, identity crisis issues the sense that um, that you can't be Muslim and British or European at the same time and that is something um, uh, as, as one of you mentioned with the the problem with the far right is essentially that their uh, narrative of the West is, uh, or Islam is at war with the West, or that there is no compatible way of reconciling Islam with Western values, that very much feeds into these identity crises. And of course, that is on the very, on, on the basic level. And once there are grievances and identity crises within minority communities, then it's easy for a charismatic recruiter to come and have a narrative, an Islamist extremist ideology that lures these vulnerable individuals into extremist networks. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, that's why it's important to have a full spectrum approach that really goes into all these different factors. And all, that's all these why factors. Uh, us, Simon, yeah. Simon Schofield, do you agree? No, I do not agree. Absolutely. I think I agree with everything that's been said there by Julie. I think it's all very well, uh, former President Obama declaring an end to the, the global war on terror, but it hasn't stopped terror's global war on us. Um, and I think it's very clear that we're in a, a sort of war of ideas of sorts and that we have to prove that uh, liberal democracy is, is the best solution. And, and it, it all hinges on the treatment of the other. Is In liberal democracy, if you disagree with one another, you, ha you have a debate and at some point you agree to disagree. Um, mm. Under fundamentalist um, interpretations, be that sort of far right or, or Islamist, um, if, if you disagree, then you're, you're not only wrong, but you're fair game. You're fair game for, for violent coercion. And, and I think that's, that's the aspect that we need to fight, is we need to make it very clear that that's not the way we treat people that disagree with us. And it's, it's not the way that we will tolerate others uh, treating people who disagree with them. All right, when we come back.